Welcome back, my friends. I'm Juliet, and today is our day four of our self-love yoga practice. We're growing that love passionately towards ourselves together. And today's quote of the day is, to accept ourselves completely means to value our imperfections as much as our perfections. Think about that again. To accept ourselves completely means to value our own imperfections as much as our perfections. I really, really love it. So let's begin our practice in mind with self-love. And today we will begin in a seated, easy, cross-cross like its position. Let's take our both hands up front of the heart. Close your eyes as always just for the few breaths to make sure that we settled. Find that connection, mind, body to yourself so that practice can be loving and effective. Let's open our eyes and reach all the way up. And today we will begin with our neck. We're going to be working on our neck and shoulders today, primarily in a little bit of the hips and a little bit of the core strings. So let's begin by placing our hand on top on the ear and don't push it too hard. It's just a little, little pressure. And simultaneously you draw that shoulder away from that ear. Very nice. Give it a breath or two. So it really gives the effect which it's supposed to. We want to hold it for a little bit and press on top again. Hold it for the few. Keep pulling that shoulder, guys, away from that ear. It's not big pressure, but some. Very nice. So let's continue with a little knocking forward. Taking it back, knocking forward, and taking it back. Couple more times. Keep on breathing, guys. And go ahead and take little head turns. And just a few more. Now, only if it feels really good for your neck. If it doesn't, just continue to do just the little head turns. So only if it feels good, we will expand the motion a little bit. We're going to go for the, that half little roll from one shoulder to another shoulder. And while we're doing that, let's talk about love. So I really guys want to hear from you what wonderful happened in your life through this past few days since we started this self-love journey. Please share it with me i want to hear it and i want to share with you my experience so let's go ahead and reach all the way up i was able to teach my little daughter what the self-love is and it was an amazing experience she was kind of a little bit shocked little kids they don't even think about it right because she always was thinking what her peers thinking about her at school what if she does this or this and i said well you have to love yourself and she was like oh i know i never thought about it so that's what's happened with me so i really want to hear about your experience take the hips up and open and we're gonna do a few lift hip lifts like this let's do a couple more reach up and open and take it back Let's do a couple more. Reach up and open. Very nice. Take it back. And up and open. Let's hold it together just for the few breaths. Breathe actively, open up the heart. And by the way, uh, practicing the asanas which targeted the heart will help us to open the self-love, to create more self-love as well. Let's take that one hand. 45 degrees behind and open up towards the corner of the room. Towards the corner. Please, and let's do the same from the other side. Take the hand behind, open it up towards the corner of the room. Let's do it just one more time, guys, to make sure that we're doing right. Big breaths. Exhalation, back and switch. All the way. Very nice. 
So let's go ahead and read the arms all the way to the different directions. If you have to use a strap or towel, please use strap or towel. Open it up. Please be careful, be patient with your body. Don't overdo it. Sometimes you need to use the tools for a few weeks if you just started your yoga journey and then eventually pretty quick if you do use your tools, it's going to become much easier. Very good. Nice job, guys. Let's go ahead and come on our knees. So I'm going to turn around so you can see better. We're going to practice today a few variations of the camel. Camel is very good hard opening asana. So come on up on your knees. We will begin with tucking the toes because that's easier to reach. Let's begin with the same arm and the same heel. So right arm, then right heel, then the left hand and the left heel. Do a few more. Please guys, make sure that you push the hips forward and you activate the abs. That way you support that back and prevent the injuries on the back bends, any back bends you do. And let's do one more. Mm -hmm. And back to the center. Let's release the tendon a little bit. Bring your forehead on the floor. Rest. It's a half rabbit preparation for rabbit pose. Come on back up. And let's this time try to do the opposite. So if we do the right arm, it's going to go towards the left heel. Up and open. And then you return back. And if it's a left hand, it's going to go over to right. If that doesn't flow pretty good today, just continue to do right, right, left, left without cross crossing because that takes a little bit deeper back bends, a little bit wider range of motion. Be loving towards yourself and no matter what you're doing today, always keep in mind. And let's do one more on the left. Beautiful. Let's repose this. Sit your body on the heels. Grab the heels if you can. Fold forward. Very good job. Mm. Nice work. Come on back. Let's crisscross our heels for the easy transition. And we're going to find ourselves, guys, in the little modification of the bow today we're still doing the modification so put your heels on the floor lift your knees set your knees parallel to each other we're going to take the good connection with the hands it's a supported boat but it's really good training for the center promoting the lean abs and healthy digestive system let's rotate to one side and hold it with me just a few breaths, you have to breathe actively in order to be able to hold it. And let's go ahead, all the way, breathe, take it all the way to the other side while you're breathing, let's think about, let's think about perfections and imperfections in our character and how we can start to love our imperfections and maybe turn them to something very unique about our characters or how we can start to work on them so we can turn them to the something positive let's go ahead and turn it breathe actively i know one more time guys reach breathe we all have flaws but it doesn't mean we are bad people right there is no one perfect all the way and the other thing I notice, once you start to love yourself and nurture that positive attitude all the time, let's come back to the center, nurture that positive all the time about yourself, everything around us is kind of starting to nurture our character, our self-being as well. You meet a new people who is impressed who you are, you, need, you meet a new people who is encouraging you, so it's kind of like a snowball. Let's go ahead and reach out. You did a great job. We have one little half boat, guys, low boat. So we're going to plant the lower back on the floor. It's really important. If you have to support your neck, support your neck. Otherwise, guys, stay with me. Find a good contraction in abdominal wall. Reach up and open. Start to breathe actively. And let's remember that powerful quote of the day to accept ourselves completely 
means to get fall in love and to accept and value our own imperfections as much as the perfections of ourselves, our character. Breathe. Very nice. Go ahead and take, guys, your arms all the way up and back. Point your toes away from the fingertips. Give yourself a good, loving, nurturing stretch. Let's set our mind for success for this day. So everything, no matter what we start and what we encounter on our way, flow flawlessly because we nurture that self-love to ourselves and that way we can give that love to others. Thank you so much for spending your morning with me today. So please comment, like and subscribe. Let me know how you feel with positive changes happening with you every single day and I will see you tomorrow.